Alright, lean in for a moment because this problem is one of those sneaky ones that looks simple but quietly traps almost everyone. You see the expression and your brain instantly goes. Oh, I know this. First, 1 over 5 times 5. Nice, the 5 cancels the 5. We get 1. And 5 divided by 1 is 5. Oh no, not again. That smooth little shortcut feels correct. But it breaks one of the most important rules in math. And it completely destroys the correct answer. And here's where most people don't even realize they made a mistake. Let me show you exactly why. Remember the golden rule of operations. Multiplication and division have equal priority. That means neither one is stronger. We don't get to choose whichever we like first. We always go from left to right, just like reading a sentence. And this tiny detail changes everything. So let's slow down and walk through it the right way. The very first operation in the expression is a division, not a multiplication. So even if that multiplication looks tempting, we're not allowed to touch it yet. If we start there, we're already doing the problem backwards. So step one, focus on the division. We have five divided by one over five. Now here comes the twist, the moment where most people say, wait, what just happened? Whenever we divide by a fraction, we use the KCF rule. K stands for keep, C stands for change, and F stands for flip. So let's apply it carefully. We keep the first number, 5 stays 5. We change the division sign to multiplication. And we flip the fraction 1 over 5 into 5 over 1. Now, suddenly, the expression looks completely different. 5 times 5, that already feels much cleaner, right? But we're not done yet. After that, we still have one more multiplication waiting for us at the end. So we continue. 5 times 5 equals 25. Then we take that 25 and multiply again. 25 times 5 equals 125. And that, finally, gives us the real answer. Not 5, not 1, but 125. It's a huge difference. All because of one small choice at the start. So tell me in the comments. Did you go straight to the cancellation mistake too? And if you want more clear, satisfying math explanations that actually make sense, Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss the next one.